Welcome back to Top 5 Hour Repairs. Today's topic, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what to check when your wheel hit the curb. First thing first, jack up the vehicle and place it on jack stands. Next, check the wheel and tire for damage. The first thing you want to check is for a bad wheel bearing. Grab the wheel by 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock and give it a good shake. Next, grab the wheel by o'clock and nine o'clock move it in and out and next you want to just grab the wheel and just give good shape all around if you notice any movement then you know the wheel bearing was damaged for a better visual it is best to remove the wheel based on my experience the first thing that I always fell is going to be the inner or outer tie rod if the inner or outer tie rod looks bent, it is time to replace the inner or outer tie rod. The next most common problem is going to be the lower control arm. So the lower control arm should, looks nice and straight. If it looks bent or if you notice there's a crease on the um, lower control arm, then you know it got bent and it is damaged. The next component that most likely is going to bend is going to be the stabilizer linkage. Again, the stabilizer linkage should look nice and straight. If it looks slightly bent, go ahead and replace it. The next part that's most likely going to fail is going to be the strut. If you look at the strut, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell if it's bent or not. The biggest clue is going to be crease on the uh, strut. If you notice there's wrinkles and crease on the strut, then you know the strut is bent. The next part that is likely to fail is going to be the axle. Sometimes it is hard to tell if the axle is bent or not. The one clue is when you start to drive and you notice intense vibration and it feels like your wheel is kind of shaking a little bit, then you know the axle is going to be the issue. The next part that's likely to fail is going to be the ball joint. The quickest way to test if your ball joint failed and was damaged is all you have to do is lift the wheel or grab the rotor and lift it up and down. If you notice that the wheel is going up and down and there's too much play, then you know the ball joint is damaged. The part that's unlikely to fail is going to be the sway bar. But you should always check it anyways to make sure the sway bar did not come out of place and make sure the sway bar is not bent. If you notice the check engine light turning on after hitting your wheel, then most likely your wheel speed sensor got damaged. If you notice brake issue after hitting your curb, most likely your caliper got damaged and most likely you're going to notice the brakes dragging. If you still can't figure out what the problem is, then most likely your steering knuckle is damaged or you have damage somewhere on the frame. I hope you found that video useful. As always, thank you for watching. Subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.